there are various data save options available in a savable data page. They are database save connector, robotic automation and robotic desktop automation commander RPA and an activity. If you keep a list structure, then also all are same except the data save, database save. For example, if you see page, remaining four are same, only database save will be removed. So basically database save, save type in data save options in savable data page is applicable only to save one row, to update only one row in the table to which this class is linked to. If you want to add multiple records to the database or SOR, then you need to use other options. So as you can see, database save option saves only a single page of data to a single database row in the configured system of record. You can also additionally configure a data transform to source the information to write back to the SOR. That is under the data source option, you can use a data transform as well to write the, this new data to the back to the DB. Connector. The connector option saves and persists data to an external SOR by using a REST connector. For only REST connectors are supported in the save plan and not SOAP connectors. Robotic automation and robotic desktop you know, corresponds to RPA processes. Coming to activity, you need to use the limit the use of activity so it is not a best practice but still you can use an activity. In worst case, when there is no other option, the activity option calls an activity to save the data. You can use this option to access a connector or for pages managed by external SOR. The problem with using activity as the save option is, as a save type is, activity option does not guarantee transactionality. Now we will see what is meant by transactionality or transaction handling. Consider a website wherein you are making payment through a credit card. Assume due to some network issue, money got debited from your credit card account and you received the SMS also, but that notification or acknowledgement has not been passed to the website. And hence website is showing that transaction has not occurred. Whereas credit card has already debited the amount from your credit account. Such rare problems are also possible in normal day-to-day -day processing. But if you use a savable data page with any of the other options other than save activity save type, then PEGA guarantees you transactionality. PEGA guarantees you transactionality based on the internal transaction handling mechanism used by PEGA platform. What PEGA does is debiting amount from the credit card and also notifying the website. Both are done in the same transaction. Both are done at a time. So there is no chance that you can get some error scenarios wherein amount will be debited from the credit card but website will show amount not paid. So you need to raise a separate refund request. Such situations can be eliminated by using savable data pages. Because if you use savable data pages, with any of the save plan except activity, then PEGA automatically does both the things in the same transaction. This is called as transactional handling in savable data page. Also, if any part of the transaction fails, then PEGA will successfully roll back to an earlier state so that amount will also be not debited from the credit account and acknowledge uh, and same will be shown in the website as well. But this transactionality will not be guaranteed by PEGA platform if you use activity as the save option. So use activity as the last resort. Also you can add multiple save options under the data save options. Each of each can be having different save type as well. You can use when conditions to find which save type to be executed. Say for example, if you want to save data to two different database tables, then 
you can use when conditions to be able to save to two different tables because two different classes you can give class one here class two here if all the when condition evaluates to true all the save plans will be executed see if there are multiple save options every when is evaluated every when and the otherwise save option is used only for all when's evaluates to false so whatever save type you give under otherwise this will be executed only when all the save all the when conditions evaluate to false so as you can see here here also this is source data source from which this data page will be populated here also you can give multiple conditions but here it is if else if else if else if and otherwise it means that whenever any it's like in normal c language if else if structure it may it means if any one condition value is to true then it stops checking the remaining else ifs if first when fails then it will check second when if second when value is to true it will not check third when that is what is mentioned here but here if you see it is when condition it is not if else if else if else if here it is when 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 means every time always all whens will be evaluated that is the difference between adding multiple alternate sources in the data source and adding multiple save options in the data save options thank you